burns are among the most serious and painful of all injuries. A burn occurs when body tissues receive more thermal energy than they can absorb without injury. Sources of energy include heat, chemicals, and electricity. Burns are described as first degree, second degree, or third degree injuries. Another way to describe the burn is superficial, partial thickness, or full thickness, which is more descriptive of the tissue damage. The general care for heat burns is to immediately stop the burning. This can be done by applying cool water or wet cloths. Check the ABCs for serious burns. Determine the depth or degree of the burn to help you decide how to care for the burn and whether to seek medical care. Determine the size or extent of the burn. A quick and simple method is to use the rule of the palm. The victim's palm represents about 1% of his or her total body surface. Estimate the burned area by the number of palms. Determine what parts of the body are burned. Burns on the face, hands, feet, and genitals are more severe than on other body parts. Determine if other injuries or pre-existing medical problems exist, or if the victim is elderly or very young. A medical problem or belonging to one of these age groups increases a burn's severity. To care for a first degree and small second degree burn, immerse the burned area in cold water or apply a wet, cold cloth. Apply cold until the part is pain-free. Later, you can apply aloe vera gel or a skin moisturizer for first-degree burns. This will help keep the skin moist and avoid itching and peeling. For small, second-degree burns, apply Baxitracin ointment over the next several days and cover the burn with a dry, sterile dressing. For large, second-degree and all third-degree burns, Cover the burn with a dry, sterile dressing and bandage it loosely. Care for shock by elevating the legs and maintaining normal body temperature. Seek medical attention. A chemical burn is the result of a caustic or corrosive substance touching the skin. Because chemicals continue to burn as long as they are in contact with the skin, they should be removed from the victim as rapidly as possible. First aid for all chemical burns includes immediately removing the chemical by flushing the area with water. If the chemical is a dry powder, brush it from the skin before flushing. Remove any contaminated clothing or jewelry. Flush with water for 20 minutes or longer. Cover the burned area with a dry, sterile dressing and bandage loosely. Seek medical care for all chemical burns. During an electric shock, electricity enters the body at the point of contact and travels along the path of least resistance, often the nerves and blood vessels. While outside burns may appear small, the major damage occurs inside the body. Usually, the electricity exits where the body touches a surface or comes in contact with a ground, such as a metal object. This results in the characteristic entry and exit wounds found with electrical burns. To care for electrical burns, make sure the area is safe. Unplug, disconnect, or turn off the power. Check the ABCs. If the victim fell, check for a possible spinal injury. Care for shock by elevating the legs if no spinal cord injury is suspected and maintain normal body temperature. Cover burns with a sterile dressing and bandage loosely. Seek medical attention.